Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Pomo Native American basket with quail feathers. I take three fingers from the top in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a flat oval. Curve line, curve straight line, curve line, connect. Right where I stop above the dot I'm going to draw it again. Curve line, straight line, curve line, connect. Now all the way around the rim we're going to be drawing a straight diagonal up, wavy, wavy, wavy line connect. Straight diagonal, wavy, wavy, wavy line connect. Straight diagonal, wavy, wavy, wavy line connect. Come up to the top, we're going to do one more going this direction, straight diagonal, wavy, wavy. Now we're going to go the opposite direction. Straight diagonal, wavy, wavy line, connect. 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 Now come to this bottom space and we're going to do straight diagonal down, wavy, wavy line, connect. Straight diagonal down, wavy line, connect. Straight diagonal down, wavy line, connect. Straight diagonal out, a little bit more. Straight diagonal out, wavy line in, connect. Now come right about midpoint and if you can, we're going to draw a straight diagonal out, slightly curved line in, down, and stop. Now come on the right hand side, we're going to try and even that up. Now my one feather right here is kind of blocking, so I'm going to come to the edge of the feather and still draw a curved line down, around, connect. I come back up to the top on the left and I'm going to go wavy line jump over, 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 wavy line connect. My next row, wavy line, keep going, keep going, Keep going, connect. We're going to keep going. Wavy lines all the way down to the left to the right. Left to the right. Try and keep them even. Connect. Wavy line. Wavy line. Keep going, connect. And down at the bottom, wavy line. Connect and maybe a little wavy line if you can fit it at the very bottom bottom. But if you can't, that's okay. Now, come back to this inside and we're just going to draw curve line, connect, curve line, connect, curve line, connect, curve line, connect. Okay? Now we're going to come back to the top and we're going to add double lines. So I go one, two, one, two, leave a space, one, two, one, two, work your way around, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. keep going, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, all across the edge. One, two. Okay. Now, we're going to add those double lines again, and this is where it can kind of get a little confusing. So follow along. I'm just going to go one, two, one, two. Jump over. One, two, 
one, two, jump over, one, two, one, two, jump over, one, two, one, two, jump over, one, two, one, two, one, two, and if I can fit it, one, two. Now that we've done this row, now we come back down to this and we're just going to do the same thing across all of these wavy lines. You just do one, two, jump over if you have to. One, two, keep going. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Next row. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because this is part of making a basket. And basket weaving is really very difficult to do. And the Native Americans, and especially the Pomo tribe, were just outstanding. They're beautiful. So, as much as it is taking us to draw, it can, can you even imagine how long it took them to actually make one? So you do one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Next row, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Keep going, one, two, one, two. Keep going all the way down and all the way across. Now this is another reason why there's not a lot of examples left of the baskets because they were made out of straw or raffia or tulis or whatever material they used to weave. It was very easy for it to become destroyed throughout the years. Okay, let's see if that is everything. I think it is. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add one more feather, straight line, wavy line connect on that end, and I'm going to add another one, straight line, wavy line connect. So let's take a moment and look and make sure if you have enough feathers. This should be a straight line, wavy line connect. Okay, now I think I'm done. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the very first thing I'm going to color are all my little quail feathers because if you can't see what you're doing it's very confusing when we start coloring the main part of the basket now as a decorative element these are just incredible and you can see the craftsmanship it took for them not only to weave their baskets but also to do attaching all these little quail feathers. So step one is to color in, this is that little black top notch feather on the quail, California Valley quail, that they used as an added decorative element on their baskets. Just beautiful. Okay, so the first thing I do is I color all of my quail feathers black. And that's so I can see what I'm doing. The next thing I do is I get two colors of brown. So I'm going to use peach for my main color on the inside of my basket all the way across. And I'm going to use peach again on the bigger rectangular parts going around my basket top. So these should all be peach. Now, if you don't have peach, you can use brown and you can use yellow, which would be equally just as fine, okay? Then I take a darker brown. In your case, it could be a different color brown. And I'm gonna color these little double notches on top. The darker brown, you can use your darker brown, all the way around. And now comes the tough part. I'm going to try and do all of the double lines that we just drew with dark brown. And this is to give your basket a little bit more color definition. They're almost always the same color, but they'll have a little bit of a darker brown for parts of it. So even though this is going to make you crazy because it's a lot of coloring, 
take your time stop if you want to if you're coloring so hard your hand hurts that's a good time to take a break so take an opposite color a darker color I should say like brown a darker brown against that peach that I used above now if I didn't have the uh, peach I could use yellow and still get the same effect so you're doing a darker brown all the way across for each one of those little straight line straight lines then once you've done that you come back with your peach and you can lightly color over the base part of your basket all the way across it doesn't matter if it goes over the brown because it's just going to blend almost kind of gives it a more realistic look anyways then I came back in with my darker brown and on the interior the inside part this is the inside part I just did a dark crayon curved line across the top across the inside I should say of the basket okay alright let's see what this looks like all colored in here's my basket all colored in all you have to do is Google Pomo baskets with quail feathers and you'll see some beautiful examples that the Native Americans made okay bye bye